Hey guys, me host Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. It's time to go on a toy hunt. We're going to Sheffield today to check out the stars at Meadow Hall. I'm going to bring you guys along. Stick around to the end of today's video to see the hall. Let's do this. Welcome to another vlog. First thing we're doing is checking out the Lego Star because there is a bunch of brand new items that have just dropped today at Lego, including all these awesome new Easter sets. But look how busy it is inside. Luckily, Mrs. Supersaurus is already on the inside, so let's go find her. This is what we're after, guys. This is the Disney Lego train set, or the parade set, if you will. And uh, it's got very busy very fast in here. The Indiana Jones sets have just dropped today. They've already sold out of the... Uh, the, the Temple of Doom set. It's very cool looking though, and uh, yeah, m may invest in some Indiana Jones Lego in the future, but I'm not sure. It's not high up on my agenda is the Indiana Jones stuff. I do like the DeLorean though. That is a very cool play set, but there is something even cooler next door. Oh yeah, it's Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime in Lego is amazing. Roll out. Very cool looking Lego set. Just had to check that out because, you know, it's, op it's Optimus Prime. Very cool set. And here we are. We're on our way out. This is Super Soul Junior being mental as usual. Let's check out Game now. Game store here in the UK have still got some massive sales on. So let's just double check what they've got here in the Star Wars section, amongst other stuff. There's nothing really today that I need in here. But the prices are great, so I thought I'd show you guys. And it's definitely worth a trip to your local Game Store right now. I was hoping they were going to have the Archive Bo-Katan, but they didn't. I would have picked up the Archive Bo-Katan at that price, but um, not, not, not to be today. Plenty of other stuff, though, including the latest Funkos from Shazam. Um, I've not seen that film yet. Still need to go see it. Apparently Wonder Woman's in it. Very cool. But, uh, yeah, need to go see that. And, yeah, a bunch of, they've still got a bunch of the girls' products in as well, like the dolls and stuff. Meh. Nothing really for me here. Uh, Lola has been marked down heavily in price as well, which is pretty cool, but I already own one of those. And then the Secret Life of Pets or the Superhero Pets, wherever, wherever it was called. You know, the, that, that weird universe where Batman has a dog. <laughs> really weird sets. But yeah, they're, they're all marked down in price as well. Nothing for me in the uh, Marvel Legends section, but it was impressively marked down with some great deals on some really cool sets, including MODOK there, the World Tour MODOK. So yeah, definitely worth a run down to your game if you're in need of any Marvel Legends or Black Series or Hasbro products in general. Uh, they had a bunch of Masters of the Universe as well, which I couldn't believe the prices on some of these. These were great. Uh, Skelly Glow is still here. He's been there for years now. He's never going to sell. Castle Grayskull for about six sixty four ninety nine. is that? And uh, then they've got the He-Man Master of the Universe little ship thing for $4.99. Not bad at all. Some good discounts in game right now. Worth checking out. Um, but like I say, nothing for me today. So let's just keep moving on moving, people. Let's check out what else Meadow Hall has to offer today. Because that, that is where we are. We're at Meadow Hall in Sheffield. A great little shopping spot. I love going to Sheffield for my uh, toy hunting. There's plenty to look at in the Meadow Hall Center. Hey, look, that's that Lego set that I got in that I got from Lego. Hmm. I got that in Lego store a minute ago. See everything that, that that we picked up today at the end of today's video in the hall. We've got a big hall at the end of today's video. It's going to be awesome. And I love the fact that everywhere currently has Dungeons and Dragons sets uh, massively in stock. So these are cool to see. I remember a time when you couldn't find Dungeons and Dragons merch unless you went to a proper tabletop shop. This is Red 5, or whatever you want to call them these days. They keep changing their name. Uh, I think it's still Red 5 right now. But yeah, these are the Funko Pop Pokemon from the Disney Villains series. And they're all on two for 25 right now. But when I went in store, they didn't actually have any of the Disney Villains in stock. Because I would have bought the Disney Villains at two for 25. Um, but yeah, they didn't have any of those in stock. Although they did have some of the new Stitches in stock. 149 on the helmets. May have seen them cheaper elsewhere. Um, do check out Hasbro's uh, eBay account, by the way, because Hasbro do have a genuine eBay site, and they do sell stuff off even cheaper than what they've been selling at the warehouse stock. So go check that out. Now, this is Avalon, which is one of the shops, uh, independent shops that's in Meadowhall. Uh, this is near the food court, and they have all your horror and NECA needs 
taken care of in here. Um, there is a couple of things I had my eye on, although I do sadly know where I, you know, I can get them a little cheaper online. So I'm probably going to do that. Although the prices weren't too bad in here. It's just that I know that I can get them cheaper elsewhere. But it's a good shop if you're ever stuck for stuff. Um, like, the, this guy usually gets things in a lot quicker than uh, HMV will and things like that. So, always worth checking out. I've bought some good stuff from here over the years. They do have that uh, Zombo in stock, though, which really tempted me. Really tempted me. Although, I, don't, I haven't, I still have yet to see Rob Zombie's version of Monsters, but we'll have to check it out, and I might have to pick one of those bad boys up. Over Easter, because I'm not buying any chocolate for myself this year, I'm very tempted to buy myself some uh, horror merchandise from Mad About Horror, so stay tuned for that. Let's see what else we can find in today's one. They do have a bunch of the Predator stuff in stock, but again, it's nothing that I'm collecting right now, so let, let, let's move on. I had to take a moment, though, to have a quick look at how cute these look. These are the little Digimon and the Digimon Tamers, if I remember right uh, But yeah, they had Agumon, Gabumon, and uh, those are the only two I can remember the names of. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just loved, thought, thought they looked dead cute, and they were not, not badly priced. This is the brand new HMV that is in Meadow Hall. It's a massive HMV. And they had tons of stock. Plenty of new Star Wars stuff in there, as you can see. Um, uh, nothing that I was hunting, though, right now. But look at this NECA section. Oh, my God. This captured my imagination for a good 20 minutes or so. I was eyeing up every single box to make sure I owned them all. But they did have the Invisible Man. Hey, you know, hey, HG Wells' Invisible Man from NECA Universal Monsters. And I stupidly didn't pick it up. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't pick it up. It sold out everywhere online. I should have got it. And I'm, I'm kicking myself now. But anyway, $48.99, not too bad. It is cheaper online at $44.99. But the fact that it's sold out everywhere, $48.99 wasn't a bad shout. I should have got it. I'm kicking myself now. Um, they still have the Hunchback in stock, though, from the, tur from the Turtles. I'm waiting on the Invisible Man Donatello to arrive in stock. Very cool, though. They did have all the E.T. figures and ALF. So if you're still hunting those, they're in a HMV at Meadow Hall. And they did have a really nice set section uh, of McFarlane and Hasbro. But again, everything's kind of the samey-samey right now in these stores. I'm, I'm holding out for all the new stock of McFarlane's dropping real soon in the UK. As I really do want some of those new Dark Knight sets and stuff like that. So holding out for a hero there. Um, Funko products again I'm not sure what I'm doing with Funko right now I'm not buying too much Funko just because it's heading to landfill and there's weird things ha you know, happening with the company so I'm kind of holding on to see what happens first before diving into more Funko madness but this HMV as you can see has a little bit of everything going on which is really cool to see figures, you know, collectibles, random stuff it's just awesome to see on the shelves um, and they did have this in stock for not a bad price, the Dungeons & Dragons Dragon Master set and the Big Green Dragon. Very, very cool. And this Dungeons & Dragons, again, I love seeing it on the shelves, man. They even have the tarot deck, that's awesome. And then a bunch of random mystery boxes. Please don't buy these. I've done the reviews of these on my channel. If you want to see what's in them, go check out the review on my channel. We've just been to entertain and I cannot believe how cheap these figures were. So we got Jules and Om, and we also got the Fortnite Victor Royale series, uh, Menace Undefeated. The price of these was just insane. Let me just get my receipt and show you. £7.80 and £9.99. £17.79. Insane. And we're back from shopping. I've got a bunch of stuff to show you in just a minute, but Miss Supertall was dying to show you off everything she picked up at Lego Star today. You guys saw how manic that was this morning at Lego Star. That was insane. So, do you want to show off exactly the reasons why we were... <laughs> the reason why we were at Lego Star. Let's get rid of the little one for now, because it's in the way. Awesome. So we got ourselves the set number 43212. Does it use, officially have a name, this one? Train. <laughs> Lego Trains. Well, Parade. <laughs> it's technically the, uh, the Lego 100, and this is the Parade. It comes with the minifigures of Woody, Moana, uh, Tinkerbell, 
Peter Pan and Mickey and Minnie. And there's different outfits for Mickey and Minnie compared to the previous ones. So that, that's pretty cool. It's, it seems to be based upon a parade of sorts from Disney, which is really cool. And um, it's going in the cabinet. I'd like to technically, when, 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 once we've got more of the minifigures, I would actually love to buy more of these. Like another, another set. Yeah. Because, you know, just for the connect, connecting bits and make it even longer. And build up your own little things with new characters in. Because does the last one have a little hooky thing so you can? Because sometimes yeah. it blocks it off. I believe it? so. But if not, you'd have two of the middle ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd, you'd have you two more middle ones work, and two yes. more. You know what I mean? You could, it's only a cheap set and it's not exactly expensive. No, I think they're amazing. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to building that. Looks a lot of fun. Me and Miss Super are going to build this one together, I think, on the channel? Yes. Yes. So ex expect that one on the channel real soon. That might even be tomorrow's video. We might, we, we, we might have to build that tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. I like that idea. <laughs> what else did you get? Then I got myself the Moana and... Moana Merida. and Merida Brickheads. Cool. Are you going to be building that on TikTok? Yes. You can find Mrs. Supersoil, by the way, on most social medias, including Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, at Mrs. Supersoil. And then Daddy's Toy. Daddy's Toy. Yay! I got... I'm not sure if this is... I think think this is new, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's the fact that it's got Michael Morbius in it. I had to grab this. This is Michael Morbius versus Miles Morales. Miles Morales has got, like, a sports car going on. Um... And then we've got the uh, vampire himself, Michael Morbius, swinging away from the evil. Vum, 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 vum. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and that's set number 76244. And then because it's. Be that's it, because we spent so much money. <laughs> no, I had to pay for these bits. I just pay for these bits. Oh, Jesus. We're not so, up to the freebies yet. No, not yet. That's coming. So because it's coming up to Easter. They had some Easter mini figs, so funny. What, did you build these at the little builder thing? No. Were they just behind the counter? They were on the side of the, uh, one of the little Easter section. Uh, already pre-built, and you just basically pick one up. So, um, Easter bunny? Yeah. <laughs> and a flower lady. There's a head bit there, like that. Yeah, well, it? Daddy, can we get a children's toy? <laughs> what I built earlier. What we built earlier. A flower lady. <laughs> um, so yeah, there were um, two forty nine each, or for three there was five ninety nine. So for the extra mini fig, yeah, that's Super Sorrel Juniors. Shame, Jamie only got the one bunny. What else were available? Because he got two. Oh, right. There was either the bunny or the flower lady. Oh, he got two flower ladies. Oh, I'd first have all three bunnies, to be honest. Bunny. Well, they're Super Soul Juniors, not mine. Anyway, um, well, well, they're all hers except the bunny. Uh, you can have that conversation with them. Um, Paige, I'm stealing the bunny! <laughs> so, because we spent over £65 for not including the marble set, we got an Easter set. And then, because we're Lego <coughs> VIP members. Dips. <laughs> We got a polybag of Easter stuff. A VIP polybag, which I didn't even have a picture on it. No, I can't. I can't get it. The leaflet to the Easter. <coughs> small too, like it's really tiny. One ball. Oh, you have to fold it in half. Fold it in half. Yeah, you can't. Oh, even when you do it, it's still just a ah. leg. Just a leg on it. Even if you can get it undone, it just says Lego. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah, it's like a little springtime Lego set. I can't see him. Can I see a minifigure in there? I didn't see a minifigure. I don't think there's anything else. No, I think it's just like a garden, garden set. scenery with yeah. like the bike and stuff. So, mm. yeah. so tomorrow, on so Sunday then, people can expect to see the, the Disney train on the channel. Is that right? Yeah. Awesome. Right, guys, I'm just going to have a quick two seconds break while Mr. Superstar will tie tidies up, and I'll be back with the rest of the haul. And we're back with the rest of the haul. Okie dokie, guys. So, what did I get this week? So, I've got some goodies to show you. I already showed you in the car uh, during the vlog. But um, I did pick these up today while I was out. I got myself Fortnite Jewels and On, uh, which is like a really cool set. This was a lot a lot more expensive when it first came out. And I wanted it for all the little wrenches and stuff she comes with. But the minifig looks cool too. 
And then I've never seen this set before. I think this is a relatively newer one, but it was ridiculously cheap. So I got this guy, the big gladiator set. So looking forward to having that in the collection too. Not bad. Exciting times. The reviews of everything, by the way, will be coming to the channel as soon as possible. <laughs> I say as soon as possible now instead of coming soon because, well, yeah. coming soon. <laughs> Mrs. Supershell found these for me the other day. These are those figural key rings from the X-Men. I have two chances of hopefully getting something cool. I want either Psylocke, um, or there are two variants. I'm guessing one of the variants is, G is going to be a uh, Phoenix Jean Grey. And if there is a Phoenix Jean Grey, I'd love that. But yeah, I'd love Psylocke. So hopefully, I've got two chances. We'll see what we get. I'll be doing those as shorts on the channel at some point in the near future. Um, right, on to the deliveries. So the first delivery came from Hasbro. Uh, they sent this across free of charge for us to uh, check out. This is Dungeons and Dragons The Yawning Portal, the strategy game of famished beasts and fantastic feasts. This is a D&D game where you are basically like in a tavern and you have to make sure that the relative that the relevant hero gets fed or watered what what they're after. And uh, there's jewels and diamonds and things to collect along the way. Can be played between one and four players. So there is a way of playing this on your own. So Stick around, me and Jacob and uh, Ryan from, from our podcast, uh, we're going to hopefully get, get together uh, at some point and do a proper playthrough of the game on the internet for our podcast. And plus, I'm hoping to do a sit down at a table with some friends in the near future and doing you a proper playthrough as well. And I may even film a solo playthrough. That might have to, be, that might have to happen as well. Pop that down there for now. We have four brand spanking new deliveries to go through as well, which I'm excited about. And you, you guys may get excited with me because there's a fair bit of Star Wars in here for the first time in a while. Let's start with the bottom one. So this was sent by... In fact, no, they're all Star Wars. I just realised they're all Star Wars. <laughs> this one was sent by my good friend Andrew. He wanted to... Uh, send this across to the channel for me uh, to have a look at because he knows I've been wanting one for a very long time. And I always missed out, somehow, somehow I always missed out on one. This is the Star Wars Black Series First Order set, which includes the melty helmet of Darth Vader and includes the the, um, the flag and stuff like that of the First Order. So, very cool indeed. Can't wait to have a play with that. I will do a full review on the channel as well. Ash, just for, just something for you to open, to review, to keep. Andy. Thank you, Andy. Really appreciate that. That's really cool of you. So, thank you very much, dude. All right. Next up. This came from Amazon. This came from Amazon this week and will help me keep building that Mando shelf that we started. I said I was missing a certain character. Well, here he is. Axe Wolves. We finally got him. So Axe will help complete my Mandalorian collect collection so far. So far. Another blue Mando for the shelf. My Mandos are all very blue. I've got a squad of blue Mandos now. It's very cool. I still like this figure as well. Can't wait to uh, give it the full open treatment. Ugh, my nose is itching like hell. I had this box arrive, but I did give it a... Oh no, is this one... No, this one arrived and I gave it a pre-snip. Because I want to see what it was inside I got excited. So this one's from Comics and Cocktails. And it's the first of the new publishing series. This is the brand new Dr. Afro action figure. This is the uh, the new version which has got her in her like trench coat and stuff like that, her duster coat. It looks really cool, straight from the comics. And um, one thing one thing that I'm a bit alarmed at though, because I love these boxes, but Hasbro, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's a box within a box. 
that tickled me when I saw that. I was, I was expecting to at least have like an open plastic cover like that on these, on these ones. Come on, these are special covers. You've ruined my boxes now. I feel sorry for people that don't open them because they're just, oh. Anyway, story for a different day. I've got some great figures to review this, this on this haul, guys. There's some great stuff here. And this one's even better because you guys, I think a lot of people have been excited to see this one. She's finally in Black Series. I got this one from Collector's Den. Oh yeah! Dark Force Rising, Mara Jade. Oh, she's mine. She's all mine. And again, we get excited. We flip open the case. <laughs> Where's the butter thing? <laughs> Oh, another pigeon. <laughs> That's bro. <laughs> but yeah, guys, how cool is that? That was full of little post-Irene uh, peanuts. I didn't want them to go everywhere. <coughs> <coughs> some Fortnite figures. Some new Star Wars. Today's been a good day. Guys, what are your thoughts on the things we picked up in today's video? Are you excited to see these get reviewed? Are you excited to see the Legos? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you.